Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about how to create a search functionality. So let's say I go on to this navbar search form and I type hi and I hit enter. So as you can see, it gives me the result for that query. So you've got all of the posts listed and I can click on load more as well. So you've got load more feature available. And now I can go back and also do another search. And there you go, you can get the search result you can go to that single page also if you want right so we're going to create this search page as well as we're going to create the search form which appears under navbar as well okay so let's begin so the first thing we will do is we'll create a page we'll create a file called search.js under pages and then we'll say export default function search function and then we're going to say return for now just let a return a string okay and then what we're going to do is we'll do export async function get static props get static props and inside of this, uh, we'll need to do a query. Okay, so we need to get the menus. So you're gonna say const, and then data equals await client dot query. So we're going to do Apollo query, and then this is going to contain query get menus. And we have imported the get menu. Let's also import client. So say import client from Apollo client. Okay, uh, next thing we'll do is we'll say const default props equals props and then data. And that will be containing, we'll spread the data that we receive from the query. And then we also pass a slug so that the navbar gets to know that it's the search page and we don't want to show two search forms on the search page one on the navigation and the other one on the page itself we just want to show once that's why we're passing the slug and conditionally we will not show the search form inside of the navbar okay now we'll say comma revalidate and we'll give it one second and then return handle redirects and return data and we'll pass the default props we'll pass the data we'll pass the errors so we need to pull the errors from top and then we'll say header menus so this is a required field okay so basically i've already explained to you what this does this function basically checks whether you've received the data or not uh, whether this page exists and whether the mandatory field data is available otherwise it's going to redirect to the relevant page let's say 404 or 503 okay so that's that so that's going to get us the menu and i've already explained in the previous uh, episodes that this is going to give give us the header menu the footer menu uh, the header etc so we're going to get that data and then we're going to create a header and footer here okay so the next thing we're going to do is we'll come back over here and we're going to pass data so data will be available here and then inside of this we'll say header menu header so we'll say header not the button just the header Okay, so we'll pull the header from the layout. Uh, now you must be wondering why we are using the header and why we are not using the layout. Well, the reason for this is because if you check the layout, it expects us to give us the SEO and stuff. And Google doesn't really care about, you know, SEO related 
stuff on the search page that's why we don't need the seo related stuff there and we are not going to create a search page in wordpress anyways okay so that's why i'm only pulling the things that we need which is the header so we'll pass header and then we'll say header here oops uh i think we should pull the header and footer from the data so at this moment we're just going to say header and then footer header so take a look what us what all is available so we have got the header the header menus so let's put that there so header footer header menus and the footer menus okay all right and then we're also pulling the slug which we have passed down at the bottom that it is a search page and this is going to be data all right so we're pulling all of the information we're going to pass the header over here then we're going to pass the header menu so we'll say header menus dot edges and then slug so it says slug equals slug okay similarly we'll do the footer so we'll say footer and then footer and then footer menu so this will be footer menu edges okay that's it because as you can see in the query that it's going to give me footer menu dot edges okay so that's why i'm passing that information there right so we've got the header in the footer menu and let's just say hello over here and see how that goes if i go to search page slash search there you go you can see that you've got header in the footer menu and you've got hello which is great okay the next thing you want to do is basically create a search box okay uh, so what i'm going to do is i'll go to source components and then i'm going to create a directory and i'll call it as search and inside of this i will create a file called searchbox.js so let's do search box return empty for now and export default search box okay and then i'm just going to pull the search box here search box and let's import it so import search box from search search box okay so that is going to contain our form and stuff so let's get that So inside of this, we're going to say div and we'll give it a class name. So I'm going to just paste some class name to save time. Just going to give it some background and some gradient. Okay. And then inside of this, I will have another div and that will be class name. And again, I'm going to go ahead and give it some. I'm going to go ahead and give this some classes as well for styling. And then finally, I'll say, let's say I just have a BR tag and then H2, and then we'll call it find your needs. And let's give it some styling as well. So I'm going to make it text center, text white, padding. Okay, so I've added some class and one of the interesting thing I would like to show you that the IntelliSense also tells you what styling this Tailwind class is applying. So as you can see that I'm hovering over the PY-4 and it tells us that it's applying padding top of one rem and padding bottom of one rem as well. Okay, and same thing you can hover over the other stuff like text center will be text line center and so on and so forth. Okay, so you've got the heading and uh, let's go on to the front end and see how that looks there you go you can see that you've got find your needs um, so we've created our search page and in the next video we are going to continue with our development and we are going to add a search form here all right 
So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.